Bonsoir. M'appelle Chef Chacha Day. That's the extent of my French. Oh, I know a few others. At any rate, uh, we are making ratatouille tonight, which is French, and also uh, some baguette bread, which will go with it. And here, the, the dough has been rising. It's out now. I'm going to start at this point. I'm going to punch it down. I'm going to turn it out on the board. And I need to roll it up a little bit. Give it a. It needs a little bit of kneading, but not much. I made this in my stand mixer. Uh, there's no oil in here at all. It's just sugar, salt, flour, and yeast. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this into two pieces. It's going to be a very thin baguette. Now this one is, I'm going to take a little bit over here and look at that. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to roll this out. And this bread will have um, some egg white on the top. We're going to put a little bit of water in the hot oven. Uh, bake it in a very hot oven at... Uh, 425 degrees. Okay, now as I roll this out, I'll get this one rolled out and then I'll start on the other one and I'll be back. Okay, now I've rolled these out into these big ovals, okay, and the next step is that I'm going to roll them, give it a little stretch more. I'm going to roll this up into very, very tightly and I'm making them quite long. We put the seam side down. Now these baguettes are, are very skinny. You can see it pulling back in on itself. The gluten is really built up in this. Roll it up just like the other one with the seam side down. Put the little ends under like that. Now this goes in a pan. And it'll have to rise for another 45 minutes, maybe. Sometimes I force it. I put it in the oven uh, that with, on 100 degrees. I'm going to put a little olive oil spray in my form pans here. Okay, put those little guys right there. They're going to shrink in. Okay, the next thing I brush on here is some egg white. That's going to give it a nice finish. So I have the egg yolk in another little thing. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but I use it, save it. Sometimes I freeze them. Okay, now you take your knife and you give your little slits all the way along here. You can do variations with this. You can put seeds on it, but a true baguette is going to be just plain like this. Okay, so now I'm going to cover this and let it rest for 45 minutes. Okay, Bonjour again. Here I am. The bread is out of the oven. It looks beautiful uh, and it's nice crust. All right, I'm going to put it in here to keep it warm until I do the ratatouille. All right, now my pan is heated up uh, and I'm going to start by putting a little olive oil in there. All right, first I'm going to start uh, with my onions. And these need to become translucent and not fried. I'm going to lower my temperature down a little bit. So it's going to pop. Okay, you just want them to be translucent and soften up a little bit because then when we put everything else in, it's going to continue to cook. Okay, so now I'm going to throw in the garlic, which is thin mint. The onions are all nice and translucent, and the garlic is just browning a little bit. I like to just brown that, not too much, you don't want to have a burnt taste. The next thing that I put in is two cups of eggplant, and this has to saute until this cooks down a little bit, oh, about two minutes. 
All right, now the eggplant is almost there. And I put a little bit more oil in there. Um, eggplant will soak up that oil like a sponge. All right, now I'm gonna put in the fresh basil. It's about a quarter cup, you can put a little bit more. And then, I'm, I'm gonna put a little parsley in here also. I put some on the garnish, but I like that green color and uh, it's gonna give it a little extra flavor. And then I put in chopped, well, they're diced tomatoes, okay? There's a little bit of fluid. I use a canned kind. Uh, these are quite good. There's nothing wrong with using the canned tomatoes in this. You, the sweetness really sets the taste off of this dish. All right, we're just about ready. It's cooked down nicely. And at this point is where I put in my salt and pepper. First, I'm gonna start some pepper. I don't like to put this in at the beginning of this because you want the flavors to mix without having the additional seasoning. So I'm salting that up. Fold that around. Okay, now. As I said before, this could be a side dish uh, for a dinner, and it could be also a light lunch. Okay, now we have the bread. Okay, now there's different ways to, to handle the bread. We can cut it on a diagonal like this. You can also cut it this way and this can be spooned on here and you can eat it almost like a crostini although it's not a crostini at all the taste is totally different you could also just put some butter on it and let's just see if uh, Amar likes this uh, let's see if he likes that you can put a little butter on one of these two. Mm. See, there he goes again. <laughs> and people don't know this about him, but he's from France. Uh, it's really not Amar, it's Amour. Uh, this is delicious, this bread. It's crunchy on the outside, tender on in the inside. And I'm one of these people that likes to eat a little bit of bread with a little bit of other pieces of food. I put it on there like that. And then I bite into it. This is heaven. I don't know the word in French for heaven. But, I'm, this is so easy. There's only like five or six ingredients in here. You can do it on the stove top. It takes a very short time to make. So I will now say Au revoir and à bientôt. And take another look.